However, we have some of the same budget language that the Senate does because we wanted to mirror their bill as closely as possible uh, for purposes of agreement in the hopes that not only could we count on that money in the next biennium, but in the hopes that we could find some new additional money. I think once we get this bill, if we get into conference, hopefully, or if we can uh, meet in the next uh, few days, we can find some money uh, to put in these very worthy programs because we think they'll uh, produce some significant dividends. What kind of money are we talking about? A million, ten million? Well, for every, for the pot of money we have available that would, for the next biennium, it's about $21 million. So for every 5% or so, I think that's $1.16 million. And we have it broken down in that way. Um, and let me go ahead and tell you, we think the money ought to be divided in this way. We think that 10% ought to go to a DOC for jail-based treatment. DOC already does that. We thought we'd keep it in that program. DOC already funnels money to certain jails that have worthy drug treatment programs in their jails for those inmates. Our, our comp cares, our community mental health programs, they get 10% as well, 25%, sorry, 25% for community-based treatment. For the neonatal abstinence syndrome, that'll run through our KY ASAP programs across the state, and that's 10%, which is about 2.3 million, John. Social workers, we know now that the Department of Public Advocacy, our public defenders, have a social worker program that yields a 7 to 1 return on investment. For every $7 spent, or for every $1 spent, there's a $7 return on investment. It's hard to get that in government. And so it's working. It received a lot of national acclaim, so we want to put some more money in it. That's another $2.3 million at 10 percent. Our prosecutors think that rocket dockets will work. We spoke to our prosecutors, and they think that handling these cases at the district court level, trying to offer treatment right up front, maybe some diversion right up front, will work. In fact, if Representative Butler wants to address that, I can point to uh, a gentleman he brought in from Louisville, Mark Baker, who was running a program that's uh, funded by a couple of different sources that has had great success in Louisville. Um, they're finding, I think anecdotally, that probably eight out of every ten uh, users, traffickers, those charged with trafficking though, with two grams and under, have been found to be users. And they're being diverted into treatment. But those traffickers are being dealt with harshly. And so that's exactly what we're trying to accomplish in our bill. So those questions could be directed to to him. The last of the money will go for what we think is a miracle drug, and that's Vivitrol. We can't find any negative so far on the use of Vivitrol. Those of you that cover this committee, we had a, an interim committee meeting dedicated partially to the a discussion on Vivitrol. We had a judge come in from Ohio that's using a pilot program there. It's a very expensive drug right now. But Vivitrol, the manufacturer is willing to work with Kentucky, we think willing to make Kentucky maybe a test site for the rest of the country. And we know that Vivitrol um, is clearly medication-assisted therapy that works. Uh, and we think it's, it possibly represents the future.